Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be referring to a tutorial that I did called the best melodic exercise, uh, but that was in a major key. So I'm going to show you how to implement that in a minor key as well. The same exact exercise. We're going to be talking about that today. Let's go. All right, guys. So I explained this before, but let me do it again really, really quick. So we talked about the modes. This exercise is based off of the modes, the Ionian mode in the key of C. Then we went up to the Dorian mode, which is the next key of the C major scale. All right, so forth. I'm not gonna go too far in depth with that. If you haven't seen it, it's called the best melodic exercise. Go search for it and it'll show you everything you need to know. And there's also an explanation on how to apply that type of exercise to a bass line. So go check that out. Anyway, so we're gonna be doing it in a minor sense now. Okay, so we can do this a couple of ways. I can show you a couple of ways. Uh, so we can just switch that key to C minor or we can do it in the relative minor as well, which is A. So the A minor is the relative minor to C major. Okay, get it? C, C major, A minor. It's the same exact notes that are being used inside of those both of those keys. So if it's a minor key, you can say uh, the a song is in the key of C major or the song is in the key of A minor. All right, and it'll be the same key signature. Okay, you get it? So let's keep going. So let's do it in C minor. I'll show you that first. So all we're doing is staying the same way, staying in the same position, same spot, in the same key, but we're, we're making it minor now. So it's not a major key, we're making it a minor key. So now, a really quick, quick trick, because this is really simple, guys. If you just grasp the concept, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. And then I'll put it up here on the screen too, so you can see the relation between the, the major modes and then the minor modes, so to speak. Okay, so that minor key, all we're gonna be doing is the natural minor scale, which is the equivalent to the Aeolian scale, all right, in the modes. Okay, so the Aeolian scale, what was that? That was a minor scale. So if we're in C minor, we're playing that Aeolian mode. Which number was that? One, two, three, four, five. That was the sixth mode, okay? So the sixth mode we're starting on. So now that's our key center, the C minor, that's our key center. Uh, key center. So now you have to think, okay, now I'm in the key of C minor. Uh, what's the next mode after that? So now I'm in the sixth mode. So the next note of that C minor scale will be the next mode after Aeolian. All right, that's the way you have to think about it. So Aeolian is the sixth, right? This is our key center. The next mode, Aeolian, after that is what? Locrian, which is the next note of that scale. So the D would be the Locrian scale. Next note of that minor that the key signal or the key center that we're in C D D sharp. All right, so we got Aeolian, Locrian. What's next? I right, just circles right back around to the top, which is major, right? The Ionian. All right, so when we talked about relative minor and relative major, that's what I was talking about right there. That Ionian scale, which is in D sharp is the same as C minor. Okay, so that's the re that's the relationship to it. All right, so if you get that concept, you can just keep going. The next note of the C minor scale, which you got, we did C with a D, with a D sharp, F. So that's the fourth note. Okay, but the last mode that we were on was just the Ionian mode, right? So I, after Ionian is what? Dorian. Okay, so that's that mode. The same, it's the same concept, or if you can just keep going. If you were to just keep going up the fretboard, so it makes it a little bit easier, so you can start on the A string every time. So you got D, C, D, D sharp, F. Next note of the C minor scale, the natural minor scale, is G. So what did we leave off on? We left off on the Dorian, right? So as after the Dorian is the Phrygian. So the G, is the actually the Phrygian scale. All of this over, over C minor, the key of C minor. C minor 
minor chord. That's I'm just playing a C minor seven chord or a C minor triad. All right. So you can hear the relationship between that. Uh, next will be the G sharp. All right. So what did I leave off? Uh, Phrygian. After Phrygian is what? Lydian. So the A, um, a flat or the G sharp <laughs> will be the Lydian scale. Doesn't matter where you play it. It's the same, same everywhere. Doesn't matter. You can use that up and down the fretboard. So if you're in the key of C, this is all for the key of C minor, guys. Please uh, take note of that. C minor, not the key of C major. All right. So if you're in a minor key, this is how you figure this thing out. Okay. Or this exercise out that we did, uh, we can work it the same way. All right. So I'm just showing you the relationship between the minor side and then the major side. So we can mix this up every way, any way we want to. So let's just keep going just to make sure we have the whole thing. That was G sharp. So what we did the Lydian. Um, so next we have uh, the A sharp, right? A sharp of the natural C minor, C, C natural minor scale. So we got A sharp. The next mode after Lydian would be Mixolydian. So our A sharp would be a Mixolydian scale, right? Or Uh, uh, a sharp will be the mixolydian scale and then you're actually back home you're back around to the beginning again which is our natural minor scale which will be the aeolian scale okay so you're back up to the top so that's how you figure that out so now all you have to do is just break it down break it apart let's do some arpeggios with it now we have to just remember the order of it now you're doing six seven one two three four five is, is that does that make sense? The sixth mode, the seventh mode, first, second, third mode, fourth mode, fifth mode, and then you're back up to the top. When it was just originally when you're doing the major modes, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But now you're starting on that Aeolian. Now you're starting on that natural minor scale, which that makes the six now. That makes the one. Your six is actually equal to your one now. All right, so I'll have it up here so you can visualize it easier. I know when I'm saying it, it sounds <laughs> it sounds confusing, right? But once you get the concept, I talked about this as well in the uh, minor two five one progression because you have to think about it like that as well. When you think when you're thinking about the minor two five one progression, it's still in a minor key. That's the minor two five one progression, uh, hence hence that name. So minor two five one progression is the same way. We have to figure it out. All right, we have to figure it out the same way uh, with the two, the five, and the one. How to figure out those chord? tones. The two would be the Locrian, right? Then the five would be the Phrygian, right? And then the one would be, it's weird, right? <laughs> but once you think about it, once you grasp it, it, it'll become second nature to you. Okay, so let's make this thing an exercise. The same exact way we're going to be breaking it apart. We can, You can actually do the scales by themselves as an exercise. Just... So break it apart, same way. Take the one, three, five, seven of the arpeggio. Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, uh, Mixolydian, and then you're back up to the top. So make sure you understand and grab a hold of the concept uh, before you start moving on to more difficult, challenging things. Uh, make sure you know the scales in order Okay, then you can start moving them around, making it an exercise, uh, splitting up, doing it, uh, arpeggios. Just make sure you know the scales in order first, all right? So you can be comfortable with it. But it's the same thing as you're learning the actual, the regular modes or the major modes, uh, starting on the Ionian scale. It's just starting on a different scale degree. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's really just simple math, okay, when you think about it, all right? So if you have any questions, like I always say, comment below, ask me your questions so I can answer them. Uh, if you guys are struggling with anything, I would love to help you out. And um, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. And until next time, see you.